what's up everyone uh, I know I just uh, made an update video but kind of wanted to make another update video for my calico convict fry nothing's really changed I did get a breeder net and I was gonna feed them some of their flake food I just again I'm still excited that they actually spawned some fry again since it's been so long and I never thought the female would again so it's just, it's actually going to be a short video for once, I can promise you that much. But we'll get into that. So here is the Calico Convict tank. Uh, not much to show in it other than the babies because the, ever since I moved the female out and put the babies in the breeder net, the male is kind of uh, very scared. So, then the female over in this tank now, for the time being, she's actually getting pretty aggressive towards both my catfish in here red tails hiding that's his uh, domain right there kind of see him but she will attack either one of those if they get near her uh, wooden structure here another quick thing that's changed new air pump the only thing somewhat loud is the hang on the back filter but so it's actually somewhat quieter now over in this corner but I do have the babies in a breeder nut or a plastic one. I probably should have got the uh, netted one again with the green plastic frame, but I figured I'd give this one a shot. Just because that green framed one is a lot bigger, but I tried two different methods when I scooped these guys to put them in here. I wish this would focus. But uh, first was actually using a net, and then I thought I would use a gravel vac when I clean the tank to suck them up into the filter, or filter, suck them up into a bucket, which I used a two and a half gallon bucket, and I put the fish net in the bucket just to catch them when they'd go through. But I thought that was pretty violent for them, and honestly, some of the ones that are bigger were actually out swimming the current that my gravel vacuum was producing, so it didn't work out as planned, so I had to revert back to using the net. And it was a pain. I had to remove all these fake plants and the piece of driftwood, and then the pot, and along with uh, Dad back there swimming around, causing mayhem, pushing them all over the place. But uh, yeah, like I said, I was. It's not going to be a long video or whatnot, but let's get some food in here for these little guys. Chances are they're not going to eat. They don't eat when I'm in front of them, but as soon as I step away, they will start swimming around. So there we go, I crumbled up the flake food, if you can see it right on the surface there. Another reason I kind of like this three-way plastic breeder that I got from PetSmart is I took all the additional plastic pieces out so they would have the most room, the mo the most room possible. There are little slits on the side so even though I have the filter cranked up again, as much water as it'll flow, there's like barely any water movement through there but yet water is still passing through here's what I feed baby fish I guess any tropical fish this is the flake food from Walmart I just usually get get things started on it especially like smaller cichlids but yeah here's a side view almost looks rippled but those are just the holes through the sides I'm hoping they uh, grow up a little sooner but once they get a little bit bigger I may end up removing the dad just so they can have the whole tank to themselves to their selves just so they can grow a little bigger faster so I don't know how quickly they will grow in here in all honesty, I don't know if all of them are still in here. I'm wondering if some of them are eating the smaller ones. Actually, no, I take that back. There is the that one way back in the bottom left corner there was the smallest one, and he is still in there. So at least they're not eating each other. Again, like I said, not too much to show. Just another little update I did. I got this breeder net for them. Also got a new air pump and routed it differently. So 
the air pump that was feeding both of these tanks is a single outlet. Now I just have it feeding this one because with this sponge filter in here, it was uh, mainly working the sponge filter and barely making any bubbles here. But now with the better air pump, both of these sponge filters are, at, there's a better example on the puffer fish tank. It is flowing some water now. And on both of these tanks are the sponge filters and the hang on the back. I want to say the one on the puffer fish tank is rated for 40 gallons. One of these three down here is rated for 40 and the other one is 30? I'm not too sure. Actually, I think the one upstairs on my 10 gallon is rated for 30, but all these might be 40. I don't remember. I have so many tanks and filters, it's hard to keep track of. I just know all my hang on the backs except for the tank upstairs take the same filter cartridge just to make it easier on myself, so I just buy 12 packs at a time. Well, all right, that is going to be it for this video. Um, I've been on vacation this week and haven't really done anything, but uh, I don't know when I will post this video, but either way, tomorrow is Saturday, and I'm planning on working on my 240 stand. So if I actually finish what I'd like to on that, I will make a video on that too. And if I can get to it, which I'm hoping I can, I can start working on the sump. I don't remember if I talked about that, but I had to tear it down because the pump I actually got with the 240, the way the sump was orientated, it would not fit the pump. So I'm wondering, the guy I got it from, if he even tried to ever set it up, which I want to say he didn't, but that's my plan. So hopefully I can get to that. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want.